The courtroom drama concerning Real Housewives of New Jersey stars Teresa and Joe Giudice pleading not guilty concerning their fraud counts, the 39 fraud charges that they are facing, and again, facing 50 years behind bars if things go south for them. They're going to be back in court October 8th. But as of right now, it sounds like a husband and wife that are sticking together. Let's break out the psych squad. Back with us, Jim and Elizabeth Carroll. They are therapists, part of the reality show, Marriage Boot Camp Bridezilla's, helping couples who are really having a tough go, especially that first year. And also with us, uh, welcome back, clinical psychologist Judy Ho specializes in family therapy. So, all right, Jim and Elizabeth, uh, it, it, it's got to do your hearts good as therapists to, to hear the description of Teresa and Joe together, leaning on each other through this difficult time and the charges they face. Well, of course they're going to stick together. I mean, they have a vested interest in staying together. They have a vested interest in beating this thing back together. As I said earlier, they've got this intense scrutiny coming from the outside, but not from the inside, which is good. But, I mean, these two have lived shady the whole, their whole marriage, their whole career as reality stars. I, I'm not seeing that this is going to turn out well for them. Mm. Jim, any thoughts on what you're seeing here? And again, these are allegations. You know, they, they say they're going to win the case. But, Jim, your thoughts on what you're seeing and hearing so far? Well, yeah, they're not going to win the case. So they're going to have to start dealing with reality, their own reality, okay? But what we found really interesting, though, in couples, if you took a really sweet, compassionate, caring person and you put him with a self-centered, egotistical, fame-seeking person, the two of them don't get along too well. But if you take two people like Joel and Teresa and you put them together and they're looking for fame and glory and money, sometimes they can make it work. Mm. Judy, weigh in on this, uh, you know, as we're getting the... You know, somewhat of a description of what's going on with, with, with these two. If they came to you right now and said, Judy, here's what we're facing. You see the charges. How are we going to make it through this? What do you tell them? Well, you know, now that they have this outside scrutiny, it makes their conflicts that they were having with their own relationship a bit smaller, right? It's like on a temporary pause. And so they really have to take a look again at what their goals are. They have the four daughters. I mean, that's huge. You know, what can they do to really make sure that they're taken care of? And they need to come together and really bond together to make the right decisions. I'm not sure if they can do it, but I did see them sneak that little kiss in those clips that you've been showing. Mm -hmm. So for now, I think they're trying. They're trying their best to stick together, at least maintain a public front that they're a unit. And I think that's the most important thing right now. All right. Again, drama playing out in two courtrooms. We're keeping you updated on reality stars, Joe and Teresa, Judah Che, and all also what's going on Come in Hi Hello How are you Great Thank God you came in because I tell you the truth I was ready to be hydrating this yeah. thing After the day we had today we definitely need this It's why we go Well there's the scene in the tub there Real Housewives of New Jersey and you just saw it. Teresa and Joe Giudice, uh, well, a little different scene for them today as they were in federal court pleading not guilty to fraud charges. They're facing, again, a 39-count indictment, staring at potentially 50 years behind bars, but they're pleading not guilty. They're going to fight. Their attorney's saying they're going to win the case, and they're going to be back in court in October. October. We have with us once again Jim and Elizabeth Carroll. They are therapists, and uh, their show is Marriage Boot Camp Bridezilla's. Also back with us, clinical psychologist Judy Ho. Judy also uh, uh, specializes in family therapy as well. Getting some new uh, pictures here, and not that same uh, scrum. Brand new pictures here. That's a shot of Teresa, we can see, and Joe as well, so they're not being. Uh, crowded in by all the photographers as they were last time. So a couple pictures there just to give you a sense of what it was like as they headed into court. And we're finding out, you know, they were leaning on each other very close as they were in that courtroom. Uh, and again, you know, with how, do, how does a marriage stand this, especially, especially a volatile marriage like they have and one that is seen by all on The Real Housewives of New Jersey? Jim and Elizabeth, you know, I asked Judy this on a separate. Well, let me ask you this. If Teresa and Joe walked into uh, your office or came to see you for help, what's your advice to them as they go through this and, and they try and maintain a marriage and a, and a good family for their four little girls? Well, if they walked into the real marriage boot camp that we conduct, I mean, it is a rough and tough experience, and we would try to break them down by pushing, shoving, manipulating, do whatever we can to change that inner character and their inner purpose. Instead of them being self-centered and fame-chasing and money-chasing and fraudulent, uh, that's the core, to work on them individually first, 
before we work on their marriage. Yeah, yeah and what we do at the marriage boot camp is we use uh, games and drills. So, for example, a tug of war. So that, that would reveal who they are because a lot of times cu couples are very, very um, hidden about who the real person is, but you put them in a game, you see how they play the game, and man, it becomes very clear how they do life and how they do marriage. Interesting. The tug of war would be against each other or against another couple? It'd be against each other. Against each other. Well, it's kind of a fake game because we have a tug of war, and the, the point of the tug of war is to prove that you can't win an argument with your spouse. You can't win a battle and be competitive to your spouse and win. So that's the whole point of the tug of war. Right. Okay. And, and so, and, and what's the grander point in all that? Jim and Liz, in the sense of you can't win a war. So what are you trying to say? You want them to come together, be more respectful and compassionate of each other? What, what are we going for at the end of the day there? What, what do Joe and Teresa need, I guess is my question. Well, in, generally in relationships, we've learned all through our life to be competitive. Right. Okay, but when you get into a relationship, competition doesn't work. Right. And you need to work as one unit and try to mm. find a win-win situation. Uh, J Judy, weigh in on that. You like what you're hearing from Jim and Elizabeth? Yes, I do. You know, I think Jim and Elizabeth are touching on an important point here, which is that when we are brought up, especially in American society, there is this idea of self-preservation, our own goals, individualism. And so, you know, you kind of come into relationships being these individual people, and it takes people a lot of time to acclimate, and some people never do, about how might, they might relate to each other on a more compromising, you know, thinking about somebody else's way. The other thing I think is going to be, unfortunately, really terrible for this couple right now is that they have aired out all of their dirty laundry mm -hmm. on TV, and it's going to come back and bite them in the butt. I mean, it's painted their character in a very negative way. But, but what you guys are saying, how about that novel idea? Right. Put somebody else first. Think of somebody else and not yourself, <laughs> number one. Guys, thanks again. Really, really appreciate it. Coming up, what Debbie Rowe is saying.